So the giveaway goes like this. I'm doing a 1 million stash token giveaway. Uh, for those of you who don't know what stash is, uh, bitstash.co. It is a cryptocurrency marketplace. Yep, a decentralized crypto marketplace where you could basically buy and sell anything. Uh, video games, computers, uh, drones. I mean, it's basically like shopping on eBay or Amazon. Uh, and but it's crypto. So again, I'm giving away one million stash tokens. Um, if you want to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is click the link in the description of this podcast because uh, it's on my Twitter. Um, it's pretty simple. So when you see it on Twitter. It's going to be very simple. All you got to do is follow, retweet, like uh, the tweet that is posted, tag three of your friends, and I'm announcing the winner on Friday at 4.20 p.m. California time. That's on the West Coast. Uh, So, again, it's a 1 million stash giveaway. Um, Good luck to y'all, and, again, take care. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, have y'all have y'all tuned in? Have y'all been keeping track on what's been going on lately here in this interesting crypto market? Yeah. We finally got ourselves some green. And not just any type of green, a nice nice green to the fact that people are speculating there's a lot of noise the term bull runs being thrown out there a lot yes some think oh is this the start of the bull run i don't know (laughs) if it is man buckle up i would say the last two weeks last two weeks have been very interesting for those of you that have been paying attention to the market um wow trying to think where to start to be honest (laughs) like it's really been exciting it's been like a if if you ever been to six flags it's just been like one of those roller coasters where you're on x2 and it's just been like wow a lot of thrill a lot of drilling oh man it's just yeah and then obviously the news of coinbase adding uh ripple yeah ripple's gonna be added to coinbase pretty soon so Ripple shot up like what I think eight nine percent today. Man, um, yeah, that's that's what's that's what we're gonna talk about today, folks. Today we're just gonna be talking about just the crypto market and where will it go in the next? I would say what next couple of weeks to month will be really interesting. Also, too. Uh, For those of you that are listening, there's going to be a nice little giveaway uh, that you can participate in um, that I'm doing on my Twitter, but I'll discuss that towards the end. But right now, oh my, man. Right now, right now, right now. I just... So we were hanging around, I would say, what, the 33... 135 anywhere from 3300 all the way up to like what 36 3700 range for quite some time and all of a sudden next to you know there's just some money being thrown into the market uh we had a nice nice man i would say a nice little run uh this last couple of what, week and a half, I would say, where we saw, I would say about 20, anywhere from 20 to $30 billion thrown into the crypto market. Because Bitcoin, like the high that it hit was 4,100. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was 4,100, it surpassed 4,100. And it's like, ooh, man, the excitement, that, that's the crazy part. The excitement of just Bitcoin going from that to just 4,000. Like, people still forget this 
coin was at 20k last January like it's just like wow like just this just a little taste is like all we need to just ooh you're seeing percentages of like 11 10 15 percent it's like what in the last 24 hours i mean eos eos had a nice run binance coin had a nice run i mean there ethereum had a nice run i mean there were some coins that shot up pretty nicely um so if you were able to catch some of those waves man i know i know you're feeling <laughs> i know you're feeling great right now as am i I mean, I've gotten some, some good ones. I've gotten a little taste of the, ooh, like, it's just like, ooh, it's a good feeling. Wake up, it's a green day, see them like greens. <sighs> and it's like, it's like, where do we go now? It's like, I know we went down, obviously. We did take a little plunge, but it's like, mm. Like, are we going to go down more? Are we gonna, we gonna go back up and then go back up again? Cause some think that uh, the range that we were previously in, some think that was the bottom. And if it was, it's like, oh man, that's it's kind of like a oh, it's kind of like a bummer. Cause like, mm, I kind of still want to be in that range. Cause it's it's nice to pick up. But at the same time, if it does continue to go up and we don't see that price uh, for a while, then that's always, always good, too. Because, um, man, that taste is just, uh, ooh, like just. Because I remember those days around, like, when this thing was going up to 20K. And, man, you wake up, Bitcoin's like at 8 then it goes to like nine, a couple of hours later, and then you wake up, it's like 11. I mean, th during those times, during that run, man, that run was exciting. I mean, people were making a whole lot of, whole lot of money. But again, it's, that market cap is so low compared to some of these other hedge funds and it's like wow. Wait till we wait till we get to the trillion market cap. Like I want to know what's that going to feel like. And of course, we'll get there as more money comes in. The more the masses come in and adopt it, but mm. Yeah, I'm hoping we, I'm, I'm hoping this is I'm hoping this is the start of the bull run, man. Really, yeah. Let's go into a nice... Let's have a nice crypto summer. We've been in a very, very brutal crypto winter. And I'm not complaining because I've still been able to, you know, take my gains here and there from the from the bear market. But the bull market is more exciting. It is more fun. And uh, as the more announcements come out and all these different platforms with their updates and their features <clears throat> it's gonna be an exciting time i mean i'm looking at coin market cap right now and i'm looking at some of the prices of some of these coins and it was like man eos i remember that was like at two what was it like 238 something like that about well, well, we could go. Well, we could go. Right now, it's currently at three fifty-seven, but that bad boy is at like four twenty-eight. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, same thing with Litecoin. Litecoin is at forty-six dollars right now. That thing was hanging and chilling in the area of like thirty-six, thirty-seven dollars for for a minute as well. I mean, Neo it was down around seven dollars, six dollars. Right now, it's at nine dollars. Ontology. It was at a dollar. It's at 98 cents right now. But that thing was at like the low, I think, like around like 40, 50 cents. I mean, some of these gains that we had, like I said, in this little short little taste bull run, it was just like, ooh. It was good. It was refreshing. I'll, I'll say that. It was very refreshing. 
And, you know, I hope it continues. You know, everybody's all excited and juiced about the S10 uh, Samsung Galaxy phone having a, a Bitcoin wallet, I believe, on their phone. Uh, I mean, uh, again, again, I saw, oh, that's another thing I was going to bring up to y'all. I wanted to share with you guys. There was an interesting tweet that I saw the other day. And, uh said 30 million verified users 17 million bitcoin do the math and i was just like oh like ugh, that's that's heavy heavy we're only at again man i mean the writing's on the wall the cats uh, the, the cats out the bag i mean uh, I mean, if you're not paying attention now, sheesh, man. I mean, not to mention I was on the article. I was reading the article on Reddit as well. Man, powerful. Uh, it was a Venezuelan woman who was living off Bitcoin. Yep, living off Bitcoin. And, and by the way, y'all, I'm also living off Bitcoin, living off crypto. So I've made that transition as well. Just to let you guys know. But back to this uh, crazy article. She basically didn't have her nation's currency. Uh, it was too much of a hassle because, you know, there's all these <laughs> restrictions. And it was going to take too much time. And she has all of her money in Bitcoin. And she basically was able to, you know, find somebody that's, Offering money for Bitcoin to be able to get her food. She needed some food. And she was able to do it with Bitcoin with no problem. Like, like man, it's powerful. Like, it's a powerful tech. It's a powerful coin. It's, this thing can do some, this thing can do some things, man. Like. It's starting to pop up more and more and more. Like, yeah, I don't know. If you're not, if you're not paying attention, man, you're going to be sorry. It's just that's that's all you can really say. And again, we're excited about going from. Listen to this, 3,300 to like 4,100. Everybody in the space is like super juiced, super juiced. And it's like, guys, we still can, we still got to get back to the 20K days. Like, sheesh, 20K days. Lord, lordy, lordy. 20K days. I mean, Ethereum, I mean... Ethereum was like, what, a hundred, hundred ten dollars? Bad boy shots. Uh, I think the highest I saw it at was a hundred and forty-five. I mean, I, yeah, man. I mean, it's just the opportunities. I mean, what, what more do you want? I mean, there's so many opportunities. Yes, and the fact that it's twenty four seven, twenty four seven, like it's tough for me to sleep sometimes because there's just so much going on in in the space of crypto and just all these different platforms, and it's like man, and it's like wow, you just collecting them, just collecting them. If you're a hodler, hey, I gotta say that when you hodl in crypto. Oh man, those gains are. Let me let me go my Delta. Let me let me, tell, let me talk to you about those gains. Let me go my Delta portfolio right now. Let's talk about those gains, because I've seen some hmm, some crazy gains on my Delta portfolio. And I'm gonna take you back to. Let me see if I can go back to. I think it was like last week. Go to history. 
So last week, uh, like I said, during during that during that bull run, it was a woo, lordy, lordy. So during that time, oh man, there was a day. <laughs> not gonna believe this. There was a day where I made seven hundred dollars for the day. For that day, in my portfolio, because of all the different coins I hodl, and obviously I'm a trader as well, but I was just like, in a day, I'm like, dude, bro, what? Like, the profits I make from trading that I hodl in a different account, it's like, that money's even making money on it. It's like you're out here double, triple dipping. Like it's just insane, man. And I look, it's like, man, I'm holding money in your bank or whatever. And you go back and look at that shit every day. That's just the same motherfucking number every fucking day. I go back and look at my Bitcoin account. It's like, oh my god. Look how much money my money is making. Like, it's working. I mean, just, uh, it's just, ah. like, come on, man. Makes no sense. I mean, the last three days, look, so I'm going to do the last three days on my portfolio. And I'm looking at the balance change of a. Uh, 21.17% which is equivalent to $511 in the last three days and it's like mm, wow I'm not getting that return on my money on the banks come on man and I can use that's a, that's a beautiful thing I use my bitcoin I use my Bitcoin, yeah. <laughs> like the shits and nutty, like buying food, buying gas, buying weed. I mean, buying whatever with Bitcoin. And oh yeah, buy my buy Bitcoin. That money I spent. It also comes back because, uh, well, when Bitcoin goes up, you know, my money goes up. So, again, let's see how this market goes into March. Like, at the end of March, where will we be? Will Bitcoin be at 3,500 close to 5,000? Or will be low four thousands. Curious to see, man. Can't wait. Again, make sure y'all <clears throat> And you know, I hope you guys are doing your homework out there, man. Because it always it always helps when you do your homework, and you're not just you know going in because everybody else is going in. Because again, a lot of opportunities, a lot of opportunities. Just gotta just gotta look for them. They're out there. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, like I said, make sure y'all. Stay tuned towards the end for that giveaway. So I'm giving away 1 million stash um, stash tokens. And for those of you that don't know what stash is, 